Hi everyone, this is Flo and uh, today I want to show you how to route your HTC One so before that you must uh, unlock the bootloader um, then we have to flush the recovery and at least we will be able to root our HTC One so uh, this is uh, 10 to, uh, to 11 I want to sleep at midnight so uh, let's go to do that to do that you must be patient uh, I could be held for responsible for everything on your HTC One. You must have an HTC One as this one there. Uh, you must have a USB cable with that and this part of USB cable there. Uh, I am not responsible. Uh, the ra warranty is your thing, this is not mine. So uh, if you have some things about the wa warranty, you have to read the forums. Um, what am I missing? I have flashed a lot of times uh, this kind of thing so you must have read uh, the different articles about how to flash, how to do a lot of things so uh, this is your thing, you do that, I am not responsible uh, okay so you have to go on this website, this is htcdev.com htcdev website you have to log in with your account there and you have to go on unlock bootloader to start there and you click on get started it's loading just there when it's done you go to unlocking your bootloader and supported device you select your device just there so mine is the HTC one so where is the HTC uh, one or all over supported uh, model just there begin unlock bootloader there is are you sure you wish to continue uh, I press yes you press yes if you want uh, but I press yes then legal terms I press and I check I acknowledge that and then press unlock instruction continue step one step two we have to uh, to do that so here is my phone before starting you have to save all your things on your HTC One because uh, you must have a factory reset so save with the cable all your stuff on your uh, computer then you have to turn off your phone you go to settings just there you go to power and you uncheck the fast boot like that you go to the uh, developer options press yes ok uh, developer option on and you press USB debugging there ok then we are able to power off your phone you have saved everything on your phone let's go your phone is turned off this is an amazing screen you have to press the uh, volume down button this one at the same time press the power button like that and you get this screen for some people who ask me yes I am S off then when it's done you continue to step 4 you connect your phone to the computer with the USB cable so let's go to connect it like that there continue to step 5 on step 5 uh, you have to download some uh, stuff so you can go on this uh, website XGA and continue with Mic1986 uh, thread complete flashing guide uh, watching going back to stock and others you can download the mini SDK I get a 1x and I have flashed a lot of things so I get another thing than the mini SDK this is the Android SDK when you get it you have to continue and uh, you have to see on your folder for example uh, let's go just there Android SDK on this you must have tools and on tools you should have three different files the agb.x you should also have the agb win api uh, gll which is this one and you must have the fastboot.exe okay uh, which is 
this one just here. Continue. Uh, for Mac OS, you get other stuff. Uh, you get SDK, Android SDK tools. Okay, you download a lot of things, but you have to uh, do that with the mini SDK downloaded just there. Continue. Uh, step six. Open a command. Let's go to start, execute, and CMG. You get this thing just here. Step seven. Just go uh, to the place where it's located, your different files. Mine is CD, uh, C, double black, Android, SDK, Windows, backslash, tools. This is my location. You get something else with mini kit. This is another location. This is where your fast boot, uh, AGB, and AGB Win API is located on your computer. Proceed to step 8. On this step, you have to enter this code Fastboot OM Get Identifier Token. So we get it. Fastboot. Why Fastboot? Because we are working on Fastboot. So I am not on Fastboot there, I am on Ageboot. So press power and you got to the Fastboot just here and we get the Facebook USB in few seconds I hope installation of uh, the thing just here wait Facebook because we get the Facebook here continue uh, with OEM identifier token there token not token Enter, and we don't get it because uh, there is something missing. This is not this sentence. This is fast boot. Excuse me, O E M. Please shut up. As get identifier token. Press enter. Waiting for device. Okay, uh, this is because I don't get the fast boot USB on my phone. So, if you get that, this is because you don't get the fastboot USB there. So, wait, I am correcting it. Okay, so that was because I stopped the installation of the um, drivers for me, my HTC One. So, you should continue and then, uh, with the installation of your device on your computer, you get fastboot USB, just there. When it's done, you continue with fastboot because we are working on fastboot OEM space get uh, not that get identifier backslash token token press enter and you get this code to copy it you have to right click and press select you select from this one to this one here and then to copy, you just have to right click. When it's done, you continue on HTC Dev and you get My Device Identifier Token and you press Past. You get the same code there. Okay, uh, please cut the following message. Don't get it. Just start with Identifier Token Start to uh, Identifier Token End. This is what is right and there, here, and press submit. When you submit it, you will get an email. So I will go to find my email and I will just come back, wait one second. On your emails, um, oh, this is a knowledge email, okay, uh, please not, uh, okay, when you get it on your emails, okay, please, uh, you get this email, HTC Unlock Bootloader, uh, the, the key to unlocking your HTC device. You press it, click here to continue, and you go back to the HTC dev. Step 11. You receive on the mail, just there, a file, unlock code bin. Download it. Because I have a lot of devices, 
not a lot of devices but three or four different devices and I use other HTC uh, devices and I unlock other devices I must change the name so you can do that but you can also keep this one you have to uh, go to this folder where you get this unlock code that bin okay so please Please, my computer, be friendly with me. Some people are looking at us. Okay. Um, okay, so we get it just there. Go to the folder where you download it. There. Modify. Delete it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, I, have, I got this one and I want to change the name. My new name will get one and lock code one copy uh, this file and patch it on the folder where you get the AGB and fast boot uh, this one Android SDK mine is tool your is may maybe mini SDK pass it there with AGB.exe ADB uh, win API and others so you see I get a lot of uh, different unlock code that's why I change it. Um, unlock code 1, this one. Continue. Step 11. Go to the CMG and you have to enter this command. This is, okay, uh, this is fast boot unlock token. Unlock T O K E N space. The name of the file, unlock mine is unlock underscore code underscore one dot behind. Press enter and you get it. Now you should not get it. Why this is? Because this is not the correct uh, name of the file. Okay. Fastboot. Um, what's the. Yeah, I forget the flash. Fastboot flash, uh, unlock token, space, the name of the file. Okay, when you get it, uh, there is something you have to press the double dash like that, you know, uh, double arrows. You have to press it and you get the different uh, files one by one. The correct one is this one, and I press enter. My phone just say me something, but you see. Unlock, uh, unlock bootloader, unlocking the bootloader allows you to install a custom operating system a custom OS is not tested and for your etc press yes or no you can't press it like that you have to press with volume button as you can see there and then press power button to select the one you want I press yes my phone is restarting and you will see there is nothing else on my phone this is a complete clear phone we get a message on my computer installation. I will stay continue like that. And now my phone is uh, with an unlocked bootloader. Oh, could you know that this is an unlocked bootloader? We have to wait that the phone restarted, and then I will show you how we can know that. So this is the first start. You know, this is the long start. But you get it. When it's done, you can close uh, some some things. Okay, so this is the first one, you know, first uh, opening of my phone. Okay, I get it. Continue. Then you have to slide uh, it like that. Okay, start. Continue, continue, activation. I don't want to get that. Continue, 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 yeah, continue, continue. Okay, we get it. You have to go on settings just there. Uh, go on power and check fast boot and then options, continue, 
Debugging is okay. You have to power off your phone. You see, I get nothing on my phone. Uh, this is a completely clear phone, no apps, nothing else. You have to power off your phone like that, you know. And you have say, maybe seen on my uh, on my computer there there was uh, a completely clear phone, no any other pictures, no any other data, nothing else. Okay, so you restart your phone like that, you know, as you did previously with uh, the volume button, and you get there the wait unlocked. So that's cool, we get an unlocked bootloader. And you can continue for the next uh, step, which is flash a recovery. Let's go for my new video. Thanks. That was. That was. That was. Flower. Thanks to have seen this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe.